So, uh, Sentai Daishikaku, which I have talked about on this channel before as Ranger Reject, because that's what the fandom has taken to call it, uh, is getting localized officially, which is very exciting. Uh, it means that it's going to be, you know, available much more easily out here in the West. Um, this is a big step for this manga. It, it happens all the time, but Ranger Reject has been, um, it's been doing all right, uh, financially, but nowhere near the level of success that, uh, Quintessential Quintuplets was reaching by this point in its life cycle. And now part of that is because it's breaking into a different genre. That genre is kind of like really stagnant and the Sentai fans, they, they know what they like. They, they like Sentai as Sentai. They don't really, um, like the subversion that Sentai Daishikaku and, and a couple of the other more recent Sentai works have been doing, um, and Sentai is just, it's just not as big of a genre as rom-com. You know, it's, it's got that going against it. Um, some, maybe some mismarketing, which I'll get to in a minute. And uh, it also didn't help that Negi Haruba, who, I've always been, I always pronounce his name as Neji. And I will probably continue to do th so. Um... Even though I have heard that it's supposed to be Negi Haruba. Whatever. Um, he was sick uh, for a while and the manga went on like a two month hiatus, I think. So somewhere around there. It was it was a long time. And it was at a really bad time too. Because I, I, was, I was really excited for the new chapter and then I had to wait like two months for it. Um, but anyway... It's being localized out here in the West, which is really big. Hopefully, it'll get a good, solid footing here with American audiences in a way that it just hasn't with Japanese audiences yet. Uh, my issue is that it is being localized as Go Go Loser Ranger, which is a silly title. But I get it. I get it. So, Sentai Daishikaku actually more closely translates to uh, Sentai Disqualification or Great Sentai Disqualification. Something along those lines. Um, and the name Sentai Daishikaku, Sentai is obviously trying to invoke Super Sentai. Uh, the originator of this whole genre. And that's where I think some of its mismarketing has been because Sentai Daishikaku kind of implies that it is about the Sentai. It is about the Rangers. And it's not really about the Rangers. It's about the rejects. It's about the, uh, all the people ostracized by the Rangers. Uh, especially now with the new chapter when finding out more about a Kaishion and how the Rangers just completely ignored him even though they know he's telling them the truth but they're still telling him that he's wrong and that his brother was killed by a random invader and that's just really messed up um makes him a lot more of a relatable a antagonist and a lot more direct parallel with uh, our main protagonist slash anti-hero d now along those lines with the spirit of the name Go Go Loser Rangers, it's in spirit with Sentai Daishikaku. It is also invoking Power Rangers, Go Go Power Rangers, which is a slogan that, to my knowledge, was only in the Americanized, westernized, localized version of Super Sentai, Power Rangers, obviously. And even though there is overlap between the the Japanese fan base for Super Sentai and the American fan base for Power Rangers they are distinct circles and so Go Go Lose a Ranger is keeping the spirit of that and trying to appeal more to those Americanized fans who who grew up with the the 
you know, the American version of Power Rangers. But I think that's the problem. That's actually the problem I have with this because, as I said, it's not about the Rangers. It's about D. Ranger Reject is a much better title. Full stop. It, it's got that alliteration. It tells you a little more of like what it's about, which makes you feel like you're not being bait and switched when it turns out the main character is actually a foot soldier. And I, I'm just, I'm just really worried, and I'm frustrated that people are still sleeping on this manga. Ninety percent of the reason why I'm even doing this video is just to talk about Ranger Reject again. For real, like this news that just came out, that just, you know, put me into gear to talk about this. It's one of only two mangas I'm keeping up with on a week to week basis. It's been a blast. The new chapter, um, chapter 32 is probably the best chapter in the manga to date. There, there's been, there's been some doozies over its, uh, so far brief run. I really want it to be animated, full stop. But that's kind of all I have for you guys today. Um, let me know what you think about the title go go loser rangers uh would you read something like that are you guys interested in ranger reject what can i say to get you guys to actually pick this manga up let me know in the comments below i'm mediocrity 4 thanks for watching